everybody on here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee because it's still cool but it's gonna get super hot today so no major projects but I'm kind of in the mood to do something different I kind of want to go exploring and I kind of want to go exploring with Papa hmm so Papa and I we're gonna go to Chickasaw State Park look at this boy he loves ooh, oh, he loves to go for a drive he's gonna have fun today I just know it I just love this place Love it, love it. I haven't been here in so long. <sighs> it's good to get away from the homestead every once in a while, even though I love being around my chickens. Sometimes it's good just to step away. Remember that? Yep, I'm going there. I don't know if you guys remember the last time I came here and explored or who I was with. Well, I was with Miss Betty. That's right. She had a wonderful time exploring with me. Remember this little cabin? I'm gonna go take a peek at it again. I sure do wish this was unlocked. I would love to go inside and take a peek, but it's locked. It's a little birdhouse. You can't really see inside, unfortunately, me filming from the outside, but there's all kinds of cool stuff in there. So, hmm, trying to figure out I don't think I went down this trail. I think that I went to a trail over here. Let's see. I do remember all this cool old stuff. I am fascinated by stuff like this. Look at an old blacksmith shop. Very awesome. I remember the last time I was here, I kept saying, cool. Very, very cool. Look at the anvil. What do you think so far? Oh. <laughs> of course. Hmm, trail. I think this is the trail that I went down. You know what I found there? I don't know. We'll find it again. We're going to see, though. Look at all this beauty, guys. And it's shady and cool down in here, so this is perfect. Come on, Papa. Let's go. I'm keeping him on a leash because he's not familiar with this area, and I don't want him to run off. I haven't even gotten two steps onto the trail, and looky, do you guys know what those are? Those are chanterelle mushrooms. They sure are. Look at, oh my goodness. I brought my brown bag for harvesting. I'm only gonna take the bigger specimens. So let's check this one out and see if it, oh yeah, that looks just fine. Now I can't do this because I've only got one hand free, but I'm going to take this part off and dust it off before I even put it into the bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're everywhere and they're at the beginning of the trail. I only remember them being at the end of the trail. So I'm going to pick a few of these. I'm not going to pick a lot just because I want to leave some behind so they can continue to grow. So... I'm not going to get the small ones, only the big ones. As I'm walking, I like to walk pretty slow and look up at the trees, down at the ground, because you know, I have to find those mushrooms. I got to find them everywhere. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera still, and Papa's trying to pull me. He wants to go. Don't you, Papa? You want to go exploring. <laughs> what do you think, Papa? Yeah, I think it's safe. I'll try it very slowly to make sure. Yeah, this looks pretty sturdy. Yep. Nice and sturdy. Another nice long trail. I wish you guys were here with me. At the crossroads again, and there's that big, humongous tree. And I seem to recall me going left and that's where I found a huge chanterelle mushroom patch. I kind of feel like this is where the chanterelles were. Right by this field. Right by it. In this mossy area. Ooh, snake hole. <laughs> but there's none to be found here this time. Look at Not a single one. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm mistaken. And it's somewhere else. That's okay. I already found a few. Found enough for dinner at any rate. I'm disappointed. I am sure this is where I found them the last time. 
I mean, I was basically flipping out because there was a huge, huge patch of them here. And see, that's the thing. If you over harvest, they end up disappearing. So don't over harvest, you guys. All right, let's go back down the trail. Oh my gosh, look at these trees, how tall they are. And just keep going. You can't even see the sky. And it's so nice and cool back in here. Okay, something definitely scratched on this. I know that uh, bucks will do that. They'll scratch the trees, but oh no, it looks like a, looks like a bear claw, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. That's where we were. Now we're going this way. I can't remember what I found down here. Doesn't matter. It's just a beautiful stroll. Isn't it, Papa? What do you think, Papa? He just wants to keep going and going and pee on every single tree, don't you? I remember this too, this big old bridge. Yeah, we're gonna cross it. I think the last time I came down here, there was a lot of water, like a big river running through here. It's just a little trickle right now, which surprises me because we've had so much rain. But lick it. Ain't it great out here? It is so calming to be able to come out here and it's cool and the bugs aren't really bad. And Papa is just smelling everything and loving it. What the heck? Oh my gosh. This trail is all uphill, so I'm getting a good gluteus maximus workout. Emphasis on the Maximus part. Looks like we're at the end of the trail because there is a road and I have no idea where the road leads to. So I'm not gonna... Oh no! Maybe I will go have a look and see what's up there. Oh look it! It's this campground. So we're gonna go check it out. Look it! There are a ton of these nuts. I wish I knew more about nuts, but I don't. They look like walnuts. Huh, I wonder if these are walnut trees, black walnut trees around here. There's an absolute ton. I wish I could break them open. What do you think, you guys? What do you think these are? Look. Oh, no. See, that's what the inside looks like. Oh, let me grab it. Sorry, I'm moving it around. Interesting, eh? I wonder if this is, you know, basically just primitive camping. You just go and find your own spot, maybe? I bet you that's a good spot up there. I'm gonna go take a look. See that? Somebody left it behind. Yep, I bet you somebody was camping right out here. And look at, there are plenty of spaces to camp up here. I am gonna have to check this out. Maybe get a tent and pitch a tent up here someday. Looky here, you guys. A big old fire pit. Let's go this way, Papa. Oh my goodness. This would be a great site for a group camping trip. Look, look at that great, great fire pit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this would be a great camping spot. Look at that, that big old water tank over there. Huh, interesting. Look at this. Look at how perfect this would be for a bunch of people to pitch their tents and camp out. Oh, I'm gonna have to check this out. See how much it costs, because this is wonderful. And look, see there's the fire pit right there. And I'm gonna try and pan slowly. It looks like you can drive up here. You can totally drive up here. I could get one of those um, truck tents that goes in the truck bed. And look at, that's that road that we were just on. So we're gonna go back down it. I think you can pull up here in vehicles and go all the way over there and camp out. Oh, that would be so amazing, you guys, wouldn't it? Ooh, look at that over there. It looks like an animal den underneath that fallen tree. I mean, let's see if there's anything in it. This is probably a bad idea. I would be surprised if this is not an animal den. Look at that, it's huge. It goes way down underneath of there. I'm not gonna get any closer. 
I can't see anything in there, but you know, you know that it's housed some animals at some point in time. And we've reached the RV camp. Little bit too civilized for me, so I'm gonna turn back. And we're back at the crossroads, so it looks like we're heading home. This has been great. And we're back at the track in the air conditioning. Oh, it feels so good. Let's see how many mushrooms I found. I found a few, not a ton, but like I said, I didn't want to over harvest. You always got to leave some behind. This is enough for dinner, so that is awesome. This would be the perfect house. Seriously, it's about the same size as mine. It's got a well over there. It's got a blacksmith shop. It's got an outhouse. I could totally live here. It's got a fireplace. Oh yeah. I kind of hate having to leave, but you know what? That was great. It was great to get away from the homestead and just spend a day with my papa, just hiking around. We spent, oh, I think about two and a half, three hours just hiking around. I didn't show you all of it, but just rest assured, Chickasaw State Park is gorgeous. So we're gonna go back home. I'm gonna get something cold to drink, get Papa something cold to drink, and I'm gonna cook up those mushrooms. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna get some wild greens and do the whole ghee and garlic and pasta and all of that kind of stuff for dinner. And uh, yeah, just call it a day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.